Wait, what do you mean we don't have enough money for advanced video? I mean, you barely have enough for me, let alone the entire class. Well, who can we get then? I have an idea. You may not like it. Please, no. Hi, I'm Libby. And I'm Allie. And you're watching Hawk Talk Light. Hey, have you seen the color guard practicing at the mornings? Yeah, I heard they were doing really good this season. Let's go check it out. The El Dorado Color Guard is an award-winning team. They've traveled all around the country winning competition after competition. Recently, we've been able to talk to the captain. So the theme of our show this year is the bells by Edgar Allan Poe. There's four different types of bells. So in the beginning, there's jingle bells, and that represents happiness. There's wedding bells, which kind of like symbolizes that, you know, you're getting on with your life and you're getting ready to go. Then you have alarm bells, so that's kind of like insanity. You're going insane and everything's super like, oh, we have to get things done. Like, let's go. And then you have uh, totem bells or the death bells or iron bells, whatever you want to call them. And that just symbolizes that, you know, things are kind of ending in your life and it's over. I think my team puts in the most amount of work. Like, just, just the effort that I can see that we put in all together and the blood and the sweat and the tears and just what we come out with, it all just makes it worthwhile in the end. Very proud. The effort and the hard work that we've put into it just definitely pays off and we represent El Dorado the best that we can to the best of our ability. Thank you to Lexi and all of Color Guard and good luck in Dayton, Ohio. Hey, Caleb, give me your Snapchat. You're gonna have to wash your hands after this. What? Why? Well, let's see what Mr. Blado has to say. With today's modern technology, we are constantly on our phones. However, few know that the average smartphone has 25,000 germs per square inch. We had a chance to sit down with our campus's very own health teacher. I think you should clean your phone daily. Uh, preferably at the end of the day. If you just think about at school setting your phone on a desk, which has, you know, six people have been at that desk just that day and they cough and they sneeze and the amount of germs that are on desks alone and then you set your phone on a desk, it's pretty disgusting. Uh, when you walk into bathrooms, multiple people handling your phone, passes along germs. You know, obviously keep it in your pocket or in your bag when you are using a public restroom or even a restroom at home. Be aware of where you set it. Even worse, studies show that 92% of phones have bacteria on them, with 16% containing E. coli, which is the bacteria found in feces. After talking with Mr. Boido, we went out and asked students when was the last time they cleaned their phone. Uh, never. I have to say the same day I got it. The last time I cleaned my phone was like a month ago. Yeah, mine's like two weeks. Christmas, because that's when I got it. With this, we leave you with the question, when's the next time you're going to clean your phone? Hey, did you see the girls lacrosse game yesterday? Yeah, I heard they did pretty good. Let's go check it out with sports. I'm Aiden J. Reef. I'm Alexander D. Whitmer. And you're watching Jock, Jock Talk. Talk. On Tuesday, our girls lacrosse team played against Yorba Linda and won 9-5. Boys lost to Edison Tuesday, 15-7. You'll get them next time, Hawks. Last Wednesday, our golf team played against Villa Park and lost 202-201. Last Thursday, volleyball showed no mercy as they beat El Medino 3-0. Last Friday, Yorba Linda defeated El Dorado 14-4. The El Dorado softball team beat West Covina 2-1 last Saturday. Track and field took on the Yorba Linda Mustangs. The Lady Hawks lost by a score of 48-84. The following athletes won their events. Lucina Vincent, 1,600 and 3,200. Myrna Gillis, 100 hurdles and high jump. Christian Sundstrom, long jump. And Jack Schulte, triple jump. The boys team lost by a score of 29 to 98. The following Hawk won his events. Aaron Langford, 110 hurdles and 300 hurdles. The next track meet will be against El Medina at home on April 20th. Last Wednesday, baseball beat Foothill 4 to 0. Good job, Hawks. Last Wednesday, our swimming team lost a tough one against El Medina with a score of 68 to 100. That concludes this episode of Jock Talk. Hey Sam, are you in jazz band? No, I wasn't cool enough to make the cut. Well, these kids are pretty cool and really talented. Here at El Dorado High School, we have one of the best jazz programs in the district. 
They have entered and performed in several tournaments in the weekends. Today we have decided to take a look at what students at El Dorado think about the band program. I joined the jazz program because music especially is one of the ways that I can communicate like what I feel inside and jazz is a style where you can put your own um, improvisation and your own style into something versus classical where you play what's on the page and that's it. But uh, when I joined the El Dorado jazz program I decided that you know I wanted to take my jazz experience a step further and um, it's been pretty fun overall. Challenging stuff we have had in the past and still we have challenging things, but it's pretty fun. It's, it's a great program to join. My favorite part of being in the jazz program is going to the different competitions and listening to a bunch of different groups perform and also a bunch of uh, people soloing. So it's like a different experience from marching band. The memories that we have, like messing around in class, and playing what music we do, like when you get a part right and you see how it fits in, it feels like, yeah, I did that, it sounds cool. Due to the hardworking students in the jazz program, they have taken first place many times and are always striving to do their best. Watch this. Emma. That was a lot of extras. Choir's biggest night show, April 20th, 21st, and 22nd. You can buy your tickets for $5 the week after spring break. Wagner Elementary School is looking for volunteers to help with their carnival on April 21st from 2.30 to 6.30 p.m. Email wagnercarnivalcommittee at gmail.com to RSVP or for more information. Hey Hawks, get ready for the school's upcoming lip dub on April 21st. See you there. Link row applications due tomorrow in room 208. Any senior out there that loves El Dorado, that bleeds black and gold, are you a risk taker and a go-getter? You're resilient and have a can-do attitude? If you are, then please pick up from Counseling, Career Center, or Room 704 an application for the Mike Overly Memorial Scholarship. Due date is April 21st. Make sure to buy our gold-blooded wear for an upcoming event. Shirts are $5, headbands are $3. Available in the activities office. Would you like to be a published writer in an award-winning literary journal? Well, this is your chance. Submit your original work to the EDHS Journal, currently accepting short stories, poems, essays, and artwork. See Mrs. Wolf in Room 202 for submission guidelines. All submissions are due by April 21st. Yorba Linda Middle School is hosting a Music in the Parks event at the PAC this Friday from 3 o'clock to 11 p.m. and Saturday from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. They need volunteers to help and several shifts are available. To sign up, visit the address below, and if you have any questions, call Lori Arnell at the phone number below. Mr. Eldorado tickets are being sold at lunch in front of the office for $7 or $10 at the door. Don't miss out on supporting Make-A-Wish's Child and watching these amazing boys' performances. Congrats to Garrett Gonzalez, Brianna Seha, and Brittany Hethcote for being selected as the finalists in the CTE Medallion Design Competition. Garrett Gonzalez's entry was selected as the winner. Come try out for the award-winning Eldorado dance team. Tryouts will be right after spring break, April 18th to April 20th. You can come pick up a packet in the front office or see Mrs. Lawson. Fullerton College is hosting Higher Education Night for all current 9th through 12th graders. A rep from UC Cal State and a private university will be part of a panel to discuss important college topics. The event is tonight from 6.30 to 8 p.m. at Fullerton College in room 224. CSF officer applications are due by April 7th. Take them to room 704. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Hawk Talk. Have a fun and safe spring break, Hawks.